Tamarin Cellar Wedge Ronak and Jaya were going to start a new chapter of their life. Jaya was a 7 months old pregnant woman and there was no one to take care of her so that is why they shifted to their house in the village. I think we have made a good decision to live here in the village away from the hustle and bustle of the city. You are right Ronak. I also very irritated by listening to the traffic's noise in the city. They all were tired due to a long journey and after getting late Ronak went to the market to get some food. Jaya, who was alone at home, was staring at the deserted road while standing at the window. Just then, she heard a tamarind seller woman's voice from a distant place. Take tamarind. So rang sweet tamarind. Um, who is selling tamarind in this village at this time? Jaya was only thinking about it. Just then, from nowhere, that woman suddenly came so close to her by carrying the tamarind basket on her head. Seeing her, Jaya get shocked for a moment. Oh my God, you scared the hell out of me. Uh, who are you? There was a very little light present there, so Jaya was unable to see the tamarind seller's face. Jaya kept standing there after questioning her. but that lady didn't answer any of her questions just then after a few seconds that lady softly says to jaya it's your seventh month would you like to have tamarind after listening to that woman for a moment jaya falls into a strange thought about how the woman knows about all this just then she sees fresh tamarind which makes her greedy to eat it but only then rona comes there Hey Jaya, to whom you are talking? On hearing Ronak's voice, the woman disappears from there, and Jaya realizes that now there is no one at the window. Ronak and Jaya both start talking about fixing the house, and then after having dinner, they both go to sleep. It was three o'clock in the night, and there was a pin drop silence in the village. Only then, while sleeping. Jaya realizes that someone is standing at her window and is calling her in a low voice. Jaya Jaya As soon as Jaya wakes up while sleeping and looks at the window there is again the same woman. She gets stunned seeing her on the window. As soon as Jaya goes towards the window she doesn't see anyone there. except some fresh tamarind um from where did this tamarind come here i think the tamarind seller must have forgotten it here seeing that tamarind jaya starts craving for it and in greed of its taste she starts enjoying the tamarind just then ronak wakes up and he gets worried when he sees jaya waking up at night hey jaya why are you standing here at this time Are you having any issues in sleeping and from where did you get these tamarind Actually a tamarind seller visited here in the evening so i guess she must have left it here only i also wanted to eat so that's why i eat it Ronak knew that due to pregnancy Jaya's taste would change Ronak advised Jaya to sleep and after talking for some time they both slept In the next morning when Ronak wakes up he gets stunned by not finding Jaya on the bed and as soon as he leaves the room to find Jaya he finds Jaya sitting at the entrance of the house and he gets confused to see Jaya sitting so silently Hey you got up so early in the morning are you feeling okay I'm not at all feeling well Ronak I just want a tamarind <laughs> What is so special in that tamarind? Okay, do one thing. You just go to bath. Till then I will bring you the tamarind. Okay? Saying this, they both get busy in their daily routine activities. Ronak was having breakfast. Just then, he realized that Jaya was sitting very silently, and she was not even having her breakfast. She even stopped replying to him. and starts murmuring within herself 
Ronak was not able to understand anything, and he starts asking the reason for her behavior. Just then, Jaya shouts at him by making her eyes big. I want to eat tamarind only. I'm not interested in eating this. I just want to eat tamarind right now. Ronak has never seen Jaya in so much anger. At first, he gets very worried. But just then, he looks at the stomach of Jaya, and he notices a strange movement in her stomach. He understood that Jaya is getting irritated due to her child. Rona asks her to calm down, and without wasting a single second, he left to buy tamarind. But due to a very hot weather, all the shops in the village were closed. Oh my goodness! This village is even hotter than the city. There is not even a single shop opened here. Now, from where should I get tamarind for Jaya? Rona drenched in sweat, roams the whole village, but he doesn't find any shop open there. Just then, he sees an old man passing by from there, and Rona, who was very tired and wet in sweat, asks from that old man, "Hello, uncle." What happened? Why are all the shops in the village closed? I want to buy tamarind. What are you saying? You can't even utter this word in this village. Don't you know that? Ronak doesn't understand what the old man was saying, and he tells him about Jaya. And hearing this, the old man gets stunned, and he advises him to go away from this village as soon as possible. Ronak had heard such things only in stories. and ignoring what the old man was saying he leaves the village in order to find tamarind just then after going some distance ahead he finds a dry tree and beneath that tree a woman was selling tamarind rona goes straight to that woman thank god someone is selling tamarind here listen i need some tamarind my wife is pregnant so please give me some nice tamarind Rona just completed his sentence. Just then, that woman looks at Rona while laughing very weirdly, and blood was coming out of that woman's eyes. Seeing this, Rona gets stunned. Saying this, the next moment that woman turns into a scary witch, and all the tamarind kept in her basket gets rotten, and red-colored blood starts coming out of her basket. Seeing this, Rona couldn't believe his eyes, and he freezes at his place. Just then, that woman scratches his face, due to which his face gets hurt. and in the next moment that woman starts laughing loudly and suddenly disappears in the air rona gets shocked and he suddenly remembers about his wife and he runs towards his home in order to save her life and as soon as he reaches his home he gets stunned by seeing the condition of jaya jaya was standing with an open hair with a basket full of rotten tamarind kept in it which she was eating joyfully but the fact was that tamarind was bleeding as soon as ronak reaches jaya fearingly then he gets stunned seeing her face jaya's face was turned into a formidable witch she had blood all over his face and lips jaya jaya what happened to you Seeing this, the witch lifted herself in the air, and she was about to attack him with her long nails. Just then, that old man reaches there with some other people of the village. 
Finally, we have got you today. You have troubled almost every woman of this village. But we will finish your game right here. Saying this, the old man takes out a glass bottle from his pocket and throws some droplets from that bottle on that witch. After which, she starts screaming and comes out from Jaya's body. And that old man ties a tambourine piece with a holy thread. Rona calms down Jaya and that old man tells them about the whole matter. A long time ago, this witch used to sell tamarind in our village, but she doesn't have any babies. Due to which, her in-laws throwed her out of their home. She got fed up of her situation, and that is why that lady tied herself with a rope and committed suicide. And from that day, she used to offer poisonous tamarind to pregnant ladies and kill their babies. But now, you guys don't worry. Finally, this witch's terror is over now. Ronak and Jaya thanked all the villagers for saving their life. And without wasting any time, they both left for the city. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.